Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to do a full functioning manual install of Arch Linux. And I'm going to time it to see how long it takes me. So let's get to it. So today I'm in my bare metal machine of Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And I'm going to open up a virtual machine. So I have a virtual machine open up. I've already logged on to the Arch Linux ISO and it's the February 1st, 2025 ISO. And I'm going to use this stopwatch to time myself. So because I'm timing myself, I'm not going to explain things as much as I usually do. And I'm going to go a bit faster. I'm not going to be as slow because I want to see how fast I can do this. I'm not going to stop the stopwatch. So uh, while I'm typing in command, well, I'm only going to stop it. If I have to stop typing in commands because the cat flies into the monitor and everything goes flying around. <laughs> but I'm not going to stop it while I'm typing in commands and I'm not going to stop the clock while it's downloading files and apps. Let's start. There we go. And I'm just going to move this out of the way, moving it to the other monitor. I've already lost five seconds. <laughs> and I'm going to make this full screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my mouse is on the right monitor and I'm going to type in set font tier dash 132 B because I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to ping archlinux.org make sure I have internet in this virtual machine and I do so I'm going to do control C is going to clear that or stop it and control L clears the screen then I'm going to vim into Etsy Pacman conf and I'm scanning down to here and I'm going to turn on and activate parallel downloads and I'm going to save the file then I'm going to clear the screen control L and I'm going to do vim etsy pacman d oops mirror list did I do that right yes I did how about that and you know what I'm just going to delete all these and I'm just going to leave those two mirrors there I'm going to save the file and I'm going to clear the screen, control L, and I'm going to sync my mirrors. Sudo, oh, I don't do sudo, do I? <laughs> Pac-Man S, why, why, I don't do sudo, I'm in root. I didn't do sudo before, did I? And I'm syncing my mirrors, there you go. And I'm going to control L, clears the screen, and I'm just going to do an LSBLK, and I'm going to do a CF disk, and I spelled it wrong, so I'm going to click Y, and I'm just going to move my arrows down. I'm going to do a DOS one. I'm going to click enter. And I'm going to click. Uh, and of course, I got to turn off my face for this. And I always forget to do this. Or I forget to turn it back on. And I'm losing time here on my. Uh, there we go. I want you to see what I'm doing. Remind me to turn my face back on. And I'm losing time here because I'm on the stopwatch. So I'm going to click on new. I'm going to delete this 50 gig. I'm going to put one gig. 1G, and that's going to be for my boot partition. And then I'm going to use my arrow. Oh, and I'm going to make it bootable. There you go. And you can see the asterisk there. And now I'm going to use my arrows to go down to free space. And I'm going to click on enter. And I'm going to leave the rest of it at 49 gig. So I'm, I am made a 50 gig hard drive for this virtual machine. 1 gig for my boot partition. And 49 gig for the main partition. I'm going to hit enter. Primary. And I'm going to use my arrows to go over to right, I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to type in the word yes. I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to quit. And now I've got to bring my face back. Well, let's clear the screen first. Control L clears the screen. And let's bring my face back. Ah, that's better, right? <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to do LSBLK. What I'm going to do is type in MKFS EXT4. So the MKFS stands for Make File System slash Deb slash vda2 hit enter and i'm making my main file system i'm going to clear the screen and i'm going to do make well i'm just going to use my up arrows and i'm going to change that two to a one whoops to a one hit enter and that's done now i'm going to control l clear the screens lsblk and now we have our file systems one gig for the boot drive and 49 gig for uh, my main partition. Now I'm going to mount dev bda2 to slash mnt. Now I'm going to mkdir make directory slash mnt 
slash boot and now I'm going to mount slash dev slash bda one two mnt boot now I'm going to type in this command pack strap dash capital K slash mnt Linux Linux dash firmware base base dash devel get terminus font and vim and i'm going to hit enter and okay so right now we're installing 160 packages because right now we're doing a base install but i'm going to in this video i'm going to do a full install and of course the timer is still going and uh let's just see what we're at can i do that so right now we're at seven minutes how about that so i'm going to put that back there now i'm still going to um edit the video <laughs> right so i'm not going to keep all this part in the video well maybe i should because i'm talking right okay that didn't take long at all okay so let's do control l to clear the screen oops i'm not on the right monitor control l to clear the screen and let's do gen f stab dash capital u slash mn mnt two arrows slash mnt slash etsy slash f fs tab okay and let's hit enter good and let's do control l to clear the screen again let's do arch dash root slash mnt so now we've shirooted into our new base system and let's clear the screen control l so now i'm going to do my time zones ln sf usr share zone info slash america slash toronto space etsy local time and if i did it right it should work now if you do this wrong you can fix it after your installation is completed you don't have to worry about that so now i'm going to vim into etsy locale gen and i'm going to do a slash and i'm going to go um en c right there and i'm going to activate this line and i'm going to activate this line and i'm going to save the file and i'm going to clear the screen and go locale gen and you do vim etsy locale comp and i'm going to type in this language has to be capital equals take your caps off en underscore ca capital utf dash eight so it has to be typed like that language has to be capitalized english en is lower underscore capital ca dot utf8 got to be exactly like that or it won't work right click oops my caps are on right click and let's control l and clear the screen so now i'm going to do my host name vim etsy host name and i'm going to call this arch manual timed i know it's a long name probably too long for a host name but hey you can change the host name after the fact i just want to make sure i know which virtual machine i'm in when i'm in a virtual machine Control l is clear the screen so now i'm going to type in m k i n i t c p i o dash capital p has to be a capital p why i have no idea but it has to be a capital p and that's done Control l clears the screen oh now i'm going to put my password in pass password without the o and without the r i'm going to put the password in and enter it again i'm going to do pacman let's just clear the screen Control l pacman dash s network manager and grub and notice network manager is one word and i'm going to install this installing 20 packages and that's done Control l clears the screen now i'm going to do system control enable network manager and notice network manager is one word and the n for network and the m for manager are capitalized okay oh that was fast eh <laughs> i'm going to do grub dash install slash dev slash vda so we're installing grub oh okay so grub was installed with no error so control l clears the screen and i'm going to type in grub mk config dash o and that is a small letter o it's not a zero slash boot slash grub slash grub period cfg and if i did it right 
there I go. That's right. So control L clears the screen. So now I'm going to add a user add dash M mensch password without the O and without the R mensch. I'm going to put my mensch's password in. I'm going to retype mensch's password. Then I'm going to do uh, Vim. Well, let's clear the screen. Let's do Vim Etsy sudoers. And I'm going to do a slash. I'm going to do a search for root. I'm going to go next. There it is there. I'm going to copy root. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to delete root. And I'm going to put mensch. So normally, uh, most people don't do it this way. They would make mensch part of the wheel group. But I always do it this way. Works just as good. There we go. Let's save it like that. And let's clear the screen. And one more thing I'm going to do before I reboot. And I'm going to do this. Vim. Let's see. V con soul dot conf and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to put this in capitalized font equals I'm going to take the caps off tier dash 132 B now it has the, the word font has to be capitalized but the rest of the line is not capitalized why I have no idea so now I'm going to write I'm going to quit and I'm going to clear the screen and now I'm going to exit and then I'm going to type in this command U mount capital R slash MNT and now I'm going to reboot so it's booting and of course I'm keeping the timer on let's just see how we're doing for time oh it's getting late we're at 20 minutes oh so we're at the login screen so let's make this back to full screen let's type in Mitch oh, Mitch's password in let's clear the screen let's do uh, MKDIR dot config let's clear the screen and let's download my GitLab repository git clone https colon slash slash gitlab.com slash artivist one slash mench dot git and of course this command is in the show notes of all my videos let's clear the screen let's cd into mench ls it cd into arch ls it and I have a post install script called auto app, but I made a new post install script with less programs in it. It's more basic and it's called auto app basic. So I'm going to install it. I'm going to do period slash auto app and I'm going to put a B in there. You want to get the auto app basic and you know what? Let's clear the screen just so you don't see all the stuff in there. Let's do period slash auto app basic and I'm going to install. Oh, I gotta put my password in. Mention's password. And then hit enter, enter, and enter. So we're installing 502 packages. So I made a, a more basic auto app install script, a post install script. It has uh, less apps in it. It only has the QTAL window manager and it has the awesome window manager. There's no desktop environments in this post install script. And I also took out OBS Studio, Caden Live. GIMP, LibreOffice, they're not installed in this particular script. And I still have the other regular script in there in case you want to install that because the other script has, well, of course, it has GIMP, Kden Live, OBS Studio, LibreOffice. It also has the Cinnamon desktop environment, the GNOME desktop environment, and the i3 window manager, as well as Qtile and Awesome. So I thought I would make a more basic post install script for people who don't want such a full installation and of course I have no idea if anybody's even using my scripts or how many people use them anyways I'm just gonna pause the video while this is going but I'm not stopping the stopwatch so right now we're at 23 minutes and well we're almost at 24 minutes I'm just gonna bring that over there and I'm gonna pause the video and come back so don't go away so now we're gonna reboot I should type it right and as soon as we get to the login screen or the display manager, I'm going to stop the stopwatch. I think that's fair, right? Let's bring it on. We're at 20, coming up to 26 minutes. And there we are. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to pause the video. 26 minutes and 8 seconds. So let's move that out of the way. And let's type in Mench. Let's put Mench's password in. Then I have to resume my stopwatch and let's move it out of the way I don't feel like restarting the whole video all over again <laughs> so I forgot to run my configs so if we go into uh, cd mench arch ls it 
I have a run config file that I always run. Okay. And you can see here on the, the right hand side in the middle, I have a run configs file. I made a new run configs file called run configs basic. So let's do that. Let's clear the screen period slash run config. Put the B in there for basic. So I'm writing a basic one. This is one that I made to go along with my basic post install script and put my password in and enter. Let's clear the screen. Let's do sudo vim etsy password. And let's go to the end of line one. Let's type in zash slash mench. Go to the end of the mench line and type in zash. I'm making zash my default shell. And now let's reboot. <laughs> so of course this install is taking a little longer than I thought. There we go, because <laughs> I made some mistakes. So if you hear, oh, I can stop the stopwatch now. Let's pause it. So it took a half, it took 28 minutes and 30 seconds. It took longer. So I, I did a practice run. And in my practice run, I did it in 24 minutes, 24 minutes. But it took a little longer. It took 28 minutes and 30 seconds, number one, because I'm talking and explaining things, even though I'm going faster than I usually do. Still, the fact that I'm talking and uh, explaining things slowed me down a little bit. And I made a mistake and I had to correct my mistakes. I forgot to do a few things and I had to reboot the system a second time. So that added uh, four minutes. And let's move that out of the way. And so we have the hamburger menu. So you see there's no desktop environments involved. Uh, this is a more of a minimal install. I have Qtile and I have Awesome. So let's click on Awesome and let's put my password in. And there we are. So we have here, we want to go into Preferences and for the uh, volume control, you just want to go down to uh, Default, make sure it's White Gnome. And I also want to show the slider. Let's close it. Let's open it up and there's the volume control slider. And here we have a uh, calculator. We have HTOP. Oh, we're running at. So this virtual machine, I gave it uh, four processors, four gigs of RAM and no swap. And we're running at 313 megabytes of RAM. Not bad, eh? And we have um, Firefox. And this is the first time I opened up Firefox. So I haven't uh, changed Firefox. Oops, let's open it up again. Let's open up Firefox. I haven't uh, hardened for Firefox or changed any of the settings in this particular installation i just opened it so let's open up uh youtube let's see if we have sound so i'm on youtube now and let's click on this guy derek so my browser of choice for the last couple of years has been the brave browser because the brave it's still free and open source software it comes with okay so we have sound and what else do we have here uh, pc man fm my file manager and we have disk usage gnome disks and we have rhythm box for music. I don't have any music in here, but I have rhythm box for music. I also have Seamus for music, which is a music player that works in a terminal. And let's quit out of here. And let's go into Qtile, my password in. And of course the mouse doesn't work in Qtile. So let's do a uh, mod key F for Firefox. And shift mod key C to close. And let's do Control mod key P for PC man FM, my file manager. And to quit would be shift mod key Q. And let's just go back into uh, the awesome with the manager. And that's it. In this video, I thought I was going to do a really fast and quick manual install of Arch Linux. And I thought it was going to take me about 25 minutes because uh, that's what it took me in my practice run. But instead, it took me a little longer. It took me 28 minutes because I messed up. I forgot to do some things. <laughs> so 28 minutes is not bad for a manual install. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mitch.